Uh, here we are, PA Biodiesel Supply. This is our um, second movie in this series. Um, we had ran the tote of oil once, we pumped it back up to the above tote, we uh, ran it again. And the reason being is because it's that single pass thing that really irks me, okay? Um, this is the second cleaning, okay? If you see the little bit of orange, there's trace amounts of water, and this is the contaminants you're coming out with. Look at that. Uh, this is, like I said, these are, these could be single pass units, but you're talking running these units very slow. Okay, over here, these are our tests um, where we've ran everybody's oil. Okay. We've got two more to go. Um, I'm hoping that these, these will be done today's Tuesday. I'm hoping we'll be done probably Wednesday, Thursday. I'm hoping they'll be in the mail Thursday. And hopefully next week we'll have some PDFs. Today's October 7th, okay? I know it's taken a little bit longer than I said. Um, sorry, guys. I, I had prostate surgery. Uh, I kind of have some issues there. Uh, yeah, it's okay. In, in any case, um, we're, we're going to clean this out. Um, we're going to put it back in the machine. Okay. We're going to take the oil. We're going to pump it back up. Now we're going to run it down at 10 gallons. and The same flow rate. I'm not sure if it's 10, 11 gallons exactly. But this time we're going to add heat to it. Okay. And again, we're going to pull the rotor out and we're going to clean it. This is going to be a four series one because we do it at 10, then we're going to cut it down to five gallons per hour. Okay? Um, can they be single pass units? Yes. But you're going to have to slow them down. And I, I don't care if you're talking our unit or if you're talking the competition's unit. Okay, here's our testing station. Um, pretty much, we're, we're flowing everybody's unit. Okay. Um, okay. What we're doing? We have 50 gallons of oil. Using the frequency drive, I can adjust the flow. Okay. If you look right here. Okay, there it is. RPM will correlate with the flow. Okay, so we're down to five gallons per hour. Okay, I can, t I can put my motor at 146 RPM, uh, and we're going to sell this kit too. We're going to sell the pump, the motor, uh, the frequency drive, so you can adjust. Okay, right here, we have our heating schedule. So you see, everything is the same. Okay. Uh, our heaters in Celsius, that's the correlation of what Celsius equals in Fahrenheit. And give me one second here. Okay, right here. Here's one thing people don't tell you about inline heaters, okay? With our unit, you're going to get a temperature probe. Okay, so you'll know. Um, at 5 gallon per hour flow rate on 80 degrees Celsius, you're talking 156 degrees Fahrenheit. Now at a 10 gallon per hour flow rate, I have to turn the heater up to 99 degrees Celsius to keep 160. At 15 degrees, um, I think I was up to 110 or 112 at 15 gallon per hour flow rate. Okay, um, that, that's another thing. After 20 gallons per hour, these heaters are not going to get you. You're going to be flowing so fast, these heaters are not going to get you up to temp. Okay, there, there's some more information that people aren't really telling you. In, in any case, um, we got two more in this series. Uh, like I said, we'll flow the oil in. We'll put our oil back up in the tote, we'll flow it through at the same flow rate, um, and the reason
reason we know it's the exact flow rate, we're not adjusting the gate valve. Okay, so it will be the exact flow rate for all three. This time we're going to add heat to it. Let's see what the heat helps to pull out. And then we'll cut the flow rate in half. Okay, um, like I said, man, uh, I'll show you more than you want to know before you... Biodiesel supply, but with the ultimate four centrifuge or the spinny thing. So, uh, watch our series, people. Thanks.